For over a year, many lives have been centered around a disposable piece of cloth and two elastic bands. Now, based on my recent travels, both virtually and in person, attitudes are changing and the unmasking of America is coming. Common sense tells us there was nothing common about what's happened over this past year. There has been change, confusion, complication, conflict, and irrational behavior associated with these masks. People are tired and mentally fragile. And despite recent progress, we will never go back to normal. And nobody really knows what a new normal will look like. People are leaving their houses and they're spending money. The economy is improving. Schools and businesses are opening again. For the first time in a long time, people are optimistic and they're heading back to worship and restaurants and bars and shops. The faucet is turning on slowly, but it's turning on along with millions and millions of other Americans. I'm vaccinated. People are again embracing a few long denied freedoms, like gathering in groups and having dinners. Without masks or social distancing, grandparents are seeing their grandchildren. Yeah. And people are high-fiving and even hugging again. Now, I'll admit, I spent way too much time over this past year in smug judgment over these masks. I mean, the velocity of change was crazy and confusing. I didn't always know when to wear a mask. Were all masks created equal? Why was that guy in the car wearing a mask by himself? How about wearing a mask into a restaurant, but then taking it off when I sit down at the table? What am I supposed to do at the gym or when exercising? What about all the people I met that, uh, that I saw they had the basic requirements of a mask on, but only the smallest minority wore them fully over their nose and mouth, but more like a chin diaper. According to my doctor, just about everyone, myself included, were fiddling with their mask in ways that more than likely canceled out any usefulness they might have had to begin with. As an American, you should cherish your freedoms and decide what's best for you and your family. There will be dramatic transformation in the next three months as America unmasks. With this unmasking, there will come more change, more complication, more confusion, more conflict, and more irrational behavior. People will remain mentally fragile. I'm gonna do my best to keep my attitude in check and not judge others. And I'm challenging you in the next couple months to do the same. If you're worried and you feel more protected by wearing a mask, then by all means, wear a freaking mask. Everyone's level of concern and risk is different and that's okay. I will wear my mask when I feel it's necessary for my health or when it's a courtesy to others. However, you will not catch me wearing my mask alone in my car or on a bike ride. Now these things, these masks, they will not disappear altogether. In some form or fashion, they will become part of our culture just like in Asia. People with health concerns will probably always wear a mask. People what might wear a mask if they have a cold or they're not feeling well. People will wear a mask out of courtesy to those around them. You know, I think some people will wear a mask because they're used to them. Some people like wearing masks, but the general population will not continue to wear masks in public. Remember, keep your attitude in check around your family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, customers, and clients as the unmasking of America begins.
Peace.